Hello. If you have Pisces in a major chart placement, Sun, Moon, Rising, and or Venus, this reading is a sign for you from your spirit guides. There's something in this reading that they want you to know, but it is a general collective reading, not a personal. It's going out to the public. So you need to use your intuition to know if this is for you or what parts are for you. This reading is also meant to be timeless, so it shouldn't matter when I created it, when I posted it, what truly matters is when it showed up for you. That's when it was supposed to show up for you. Okay. Hmm. I'm gonna use this deck here to find out what we're talking about here. We have the mountain coming out. So, you know, a lot of times mountains symbolize challenges for me in the tarot. So we might be talking about some kind of major challenge that you have coming up. And then we have the river. So I feel like they're telling you with regard to this challenge to not try to fight it, just go with the flow. Okay, let me look at these cards here. You kind of might be in the eye of the storm right now. So you might be going through this major change right now. I don't know if this is saying your challenge is you becoming a mentor or there might be something significant about you finding a mentor with regard to this situation. We have the mentor card coming out here. Okay. Let's get a little bit more. If it is you finding some kind of mentor, this person might kind of come out of the blue. This person will be very wise, a lot of wisdom to share with you. Like I said, if it's you being the mentor, then maybe you're the wise one. If it is you finding a mentor, this obviously this mentor will help you to get over this challenge with regard to this situation. Okay, there's something here significant about past lives. Hmm. So, this might be involving somebody who you've had a past life with. You know, oftentimes my readings are twin flame related, so it could be that. It could be that this mentor is somebody from your past life. You might also be doing some kind of past life regression or maybe getting some kind of wisdom regarding past lives. So we have traveling here, so you might be, you know, astrally traveling or something or dreaming or I don't know, getting some kind of wisdom about your past lives, maybe who you were in a past life or accessing information that you've gained in past lives. We have um, integration and look at that yin and yang, which can, you know, it can be just the masculine and feminine within us, but it's also a lot of times a twin flame symbol. So we could be talking twin flames. It says integration and there's a snake. It's almost like the snake has gone full circle here and it's, it's eating its own tail. I don't know what that means, but we have an eagle. So I see something about freedom here. We have a swan, swans mate for life. We have the sun and the moon. So complete opposites, but they go together so well, just like the yin and the yang symbol here. So yeah, I feel like we're probably talking about twin flames, light and darkness. There might be something here about you doing shadow work and you know accessing both your dark side and your light side, transmuting your dark into light. There's this diamond on top of her head, so that's like wisdom to me. So there's definitely something here about you accessing like wisdom from the divine, your higher self maybe even. We have inner voice here. So, and then look at that. She's got like a third eye and the crown chakra something going on there. It's actually a whole nother face in her crown chakra. So it's like you accessing your higher self through your, not crown chakra, third eye, through your third eye and her crown chakra. It's a whole nother person on top of this face. So you, you know, tapping into your higher self, your intuition by using your third eye and your crown chakra integrating that information that you're gonna be gaining into your life. So maybe this mentor is gonna be helping you do that. 
where you're going to do that and become a mentor. We have a card that says fighting. So there might have been somebody you were fighting with, but it also could be you just fighting to get through this obstacle. Let's try to find out more. Um, now, I think this is somebody you were fighting with, and I think... There's a need here to understand their perspective that will help you to get some kind of freedom here. Some kind of peace. You and this person or this situation, somebody might have felt held back because of the fighting. But you're going to be breaking free from that. But there's a need for you to under to do some understanding here, to do some. Yeah, the fighting's in the past, the understanding's in the future, because it's like there's this little box here. I don't know if you can see that. It's like that's like a replay button, a reverse button. The understanding is like a fast forward button. So or in the future. But there's gonna be a need for you to participate in this. We have participation coming out here. So there's going to be a need for you to work on understanding this person's perspective that you are fighting with, whoever this person is. So yeah, there might be somebody traveling to somebody else. I also see, I, I had this in, um, I think it was the All Signs reading, I had this in a different reading where there was something very significant about a pathway and then it's like there's this pathway leading to like a sunshine here. So this is like some kind of pathway to happiness. But like I said, there's um, a mountain that needs to be overcome. I think I did, for this week, I did all signs Aquarius and Pisces. So I don't know if it was the all signs or Aquarius, but there's something very significant about a mountain. Needing to climb this mountain, a challenge, getting over this challenge. So, you know, meditate to listen to your third eye, your inner voice. This might have to do with integration of the energy of your twin flame into your reality. Maybe that's what that past lives is about. Is you, you know, a person from your, your past, a twin flame. You might have been fighting with this person in the past, but it's important that you try to understand their perspective. Also, like I said, when it comes to challenges, just go with the flow. You're either going to be a mentor with this situation or you're gonna to need to find a mentor that's gonna help share some wisdom with you. And there's something here about you tapping in to your inner voice, to your higher self, trusting your intuition here. I do see success on the bottom. So I do believe that you are headed towards success right now, but there is a tiger here. So that could mean, you know, that you need to have strength, tiger, lion, whatever. In this card, I'm seeing it as the same thing, but there is celebrating, there's party in here, there's confetti. So I do think you're leading towards success if you can have strength and get through this mountain. Right now, you might be in the midst of this challenge. You might be kind of stuck inside that challenge because there's this little box that's like stuck inside this mountain here. And it looks, I don't know if it's bright in there or if that's fire, <laughs> but um, I don't know. I just think you're, you're in the middle of, of the challenge right now. And with the river card, like I said, I felt like that was just like, you know, go with the flow. It's like a re horse's reflection here, so I don't know. But it's not really a reflection. I don't know what that means. I'd have to study this deck. I've never worked with this deck before, but, and then this owl here, this is what makes me think like we've got like the cosmos. So, and that's all dark. And then there's this light in the middle. So, you know, something about light, seeing the light in the darkness, being stuck and seeing the light. So somebody seeing the light when they were stuck and in the darkness, you are this person. Yeah, I mean, you got the Kipper deck here, right? One card out, 15 makes six. Six is the lover's card. It says the lover's card. Gotta be careful that I show that. Dude, this is gonna go on YouTube. I might have to 
I take time to remember to block that out there because YouTube and all these social media apps are super sensitive, but there's also doves there, so peace. There's gonna be peace. This is a love reading, this is a twin flame reading, so that is confirmation, this is the lovers, which could just be, if you're not a twin flame, it could just be some kind of a situation regarding love, but I mean, probably a twin flame thing. Most people that find their way here to me, if not all, are twin flames. So spirit just keeps sending the twin flames to me. We have the privileged lady coming out. So we've got a divine feminine who might be a little bit privileged, not in a negative way. Everybody likes to use that in a negative way. It's okay if you have money. It's okay if you live a life of luxury. Why? All the haters wanting to hate on people that have money. I mean, it doesn't make you evil just because you found some kind of success or you were rewarded. Maybe you were rewarded from past lives. Maybe you worked hard to get that money. There's this limiting belief that money is bad and that people that have money is bad. But in this case, so she's the privileged lady, but that's okay. She's comfortable. So either you already are somebody who has money or maybe your person has money and when you get together, you'll be the privileged lady and have money. I don't know. We have mature man. So maybe this person is either older than you, mature, or they have matured. They've become mature. There's lots of books in the background and there's a five, which is change. So whatever this person was in the past, they've maybe become more mature, learned a lot. There might be something here about travel because we have a globe, which can mean travel. We have traveling there. So they might be traveling to you or moving to you if they live at a distance or something. Could be something about social media because it's a world, but they're more mature now. There's been change with this lover. And maybe he sees you as a privileged lady or you are the privileged lady. If you're the feminine, whoever the feminine is, or because he comes into your life, he will treat you like a privileged lady. I don't know. There's something here about privileged lady. Official person on the bottom, master 22, master number 22. Official person, somebody in uniform. I'm not sure if I'm supposed to take that. Unexpected money on the bottom there. But it didn't fall out, so I'm not sure if I'm going to take that. We'll see if something else comes out too. Um, to confirm that later on. So success in a twin flame partnership, if you can come to a place of understanding their perspective and vice versa, because you guys might have been fighting about something in the past or fighting the energies, but and feeling stuck by that. But... You're gonna be breaking free from that if you can understand this other person's perspective. And you're gonna find a lot of peace. Let me look at these to see if there's anything else from this past life card to look at. Yeah, it's like, <laughs> there's all these different people from all kinds of different like ethnicities, different time frames. So I feel like you've lived a lot of past lives with this person, a lot. Or, you know, if you guys, if your soul separated, then you guys lived past lives because you were one, you know, but um, you're going to, there's a moon here. So you're going to be getting like some kind of clarity. You're going to be getting like information from the divine. And I don't know how that's, if that's going to take form of you dreaming at night or just receiving some kind of downloads through meditation. Or in my case, when I first started my, well, realizing I was going through a spiritual awakening, the way that spirit seemed to be talking to me is through things that would show up. It's kind of like, you know, if you, if you feel like they're talking to you through song and it's like, oh, that song showed up on the radio for a reason. I felt like that way, except for it was with uh, different readers, general collectives, or like the shorts that showed up on my homepage. I felt like they were telling me a message and they were and they matched my signs and synchronicities so we have plain destination so yeah i feel like they're going to be traveling to you or maybe you guys are going to go on a trip together or something probably more traveling to you because we have traveling we have a globe and now we have plain destination so there's definitely something heavy in this reading about somebody traveling 
So your masculine has become more mature, has learned a lot, and is now going to be wanting to come towards you. And if you live at a distance, he might want to travel to you. There's going to be change. It's going to lead to success. It might also have to do with social media. Maybe he just wants to talk to you over social media. A birds on a wire, social media. Or maybe it almost makes me feel like um, this person says something to somebody else and then it kind of travels through social media. Like a, what am I trying to think of? Um, <clears throat> like a rumor. There might be something here about a rumor traveling on social media. Or maybe you guys will just talk on social media. We have Lantern Inner Guidance. So that is the second time we've had Inner Guidance. We have Inner Voice right here. Now we're having Lantern Inner Guidance. So your Inner Guidance is your light. So it's gonna, gonna shine the light and give you clarity on the situation and also shine your path so you can see your way forward. You're gonna have a victory, a wreath victory. We had success earlier, which is six, which reminds me of the Six of Wands, which is victory success. So we have that twice basically and it's a wreath and it's around christmas time so you might have some kind of victory around the holidays like a christmas time winter victory this is something you're manifesting look at this wand command this is your wish is my command spirit says you are somebody who's manifesting you're very powerful you are magical now if you're somebody who feels uncomfortable about Somebody's gonna, he's gonna be turning over a new leaf because you're manifesting this. Get rid of that mask. He's gonna be taking off that mask, turning over a new leaf. Because he's gonna be having a light bulb moment, an epiphany. And then it's like, nope, that's the other. Don't take that, don't take that. That's the other side of the deck. So I'm done with that. The prayer, you've been praying, you've been manifesting, whatever you wanna call it. The seed, you've planted the seeds and your seeds are coming to fruition. Um, yeah, so he's gonna be, whoever this person is, your masculine's gonna be turning over a new leaf if you're the feminine, vice versa. Taking off the mask, having an epiphany and something he's praying for, you're praying for, you're both manifesting it. You planted the seeds and those seeds are gonna be growing, but there's these challenges you have to get over, which is the fighting, which is understanding each other's perspective. Also something there about you learning things about your past lives. Maybe that's who you were in a past life. Maybe that's who you guys were to each other in a past life. Something here about you learning your, from your past lives, maybe traveling, astrally in your mind or I don't know how we want to put it to your to your past lives time traveling when you sleep I don't know or just getting that information something here about it's um, gonna give you freedom to be loyal to each other to be with each other forever in eternity from here on out for or once you guys come into union for because you've you'll learn how, how you will have learned how to turn your your shadow side into your light. Listen to your inner voice. Listen to your inner guidance. If you do that, you will get success. Of course, it takes your participation. You have to be doing the work. Um, but I see you. You know, I see this masculine because you've been manifesting this to have this epiphany. What I was saying earlier is. You know, if you're somebody who doesn't like the idea of magic because the world has made that seem bad, people over generations, like somewhere, sometime, many, many years ago, hundreds of thousands of years ago, I don't know how long it was, thousands of years ago, there was a small group of people, the very first Christians. Now, this is back in a time where they looked at things differently, but they came along and they saw these pagan people living a different life than they did. They didn't like that. They saw these people having beliefs that they didn't believe in. And they basically forced those people through, you know, really just threatening them, killing them, 
to the point where if they wanted to keep doing their quote unquote magic, they had to go underground. Now, it didn't mean their magic was bad. Maybe it was back then, I don't know. I know nowadays, there's a lot of people that do use magic for love and light, healing, whatever. It's not bad. We really need to break that because the occult and spirits, everybody's like, oh my God, this is the devil. No, it's not. No, it's not. Now, are there people that use it for bad? Sure. Just like anything, it's about your intent. Are you using it for good or bad? Are you using it to get be greedy? And even if it's hurting others, yeah, that's an issue. You're going to get your karma, or at least that's my belief. You don't have to believe it. But just because the word witchcraft is it's a negative connotation and I want to change that because I've learned about it and you know it's something that always felt natural to me even as a child I didn't understand why obviously that was part of my past life but it's not bad and all those people that got persecuted might not even have been quote-unquote witches there are people that were different and those people that were different from them didn't like it so they killed them and they called themselves Christians or whatever there's plenty of people that in the name of religion have killed people. And so how is that of God? No, I'm sorry. We're, we're, we're putting an end to it right now. So I don't know why I'm feeling like saying that, but I do feel like that's part of my message. That's part of my purpose. So I have to throw that in with some of these readings. So I'm sorry if you don't like to listen to it, but it is what it is. And I guess I'm bringing it up because there's somebody who's very magical and it says wand command. So this is telling me that you are very magical. Now, I have had people who I know are very magical who I'm telling them that, but they're like, oh, I don't do witchcraft. And they're just like so defensive about it. And I'm just, I want them to realize, you know, I understand you've been taught a certain thing in your life. And I'm not here to like diss other people's beliefs. But at the same time, I don't want people be coming on my lives and stuff when like you're evil or, you know, this or that because I use the term witch or I believe in magic. I believe that our minds are powerful. So if you want to call it the prayer, if you want to call it praying, that's fine. If you want to call it a spell where you're using your words and your thoughts with tools to focus that intent, to focus that prayer to the universe, or you want to call it manifestation where you're, you're doing the same thing without tools, but you have to talk to the universe in a certain way because there's certain laws and principles. It's all the same thing. And I think a lot of times with religion, that's the problem is it's like those people that don't understand those things don't realize that a lot of what they do, we do, it's just got a different label. And that label that with our way of doing it has been categorized as bad or evil by people. And then that just got perpet uh, perpetrated. Is that the word I'm trying to use? use um no it got passed down from generation to generation perpetuated perpetuated and you know many 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 years and it's just like enough we're in 2023 you know like just because i believe in magic doesn't make me evil just because i read tarot doesn't mean this is having anything to do with negative spirits i pray to archangel michael to you know not deal with negative entities and stuff like that and i don't feel anything negative here so just i don't know why i feel the need to say that i guess for anybody who buys into that or you know finds themselves even if you don't realize you're doing it find yourself going oh you know and not wanting to either admit there's plenty of people that are still in the broom closet i was up until a couple of years ago i was very afraid what people would think because of that the way people think and it wasn't what i thought about it but this is my true authentic self. So anyway, I'm just bringing that up because it says you are very powerful. So whether you want to call it prayers, you've been praying to God, or you've been manifesting, or you've been doing spell work, there's something that you wished for, something that you wanted. And in this case, it's a twin flame. And prior to you meeting the twin flame, maybe you had said to the universe at some point in your head, maybe you said, even if you weren't talking to God, maybe you said, oh, I really wish I could find somebody that really understood me. It's like that movie Big or whatever where it's like they say one thing and it's innocent and they didn't expect it to completely come true and change their life around or some kind of crazy shit to happen, but then it does. So it's like I said I wanted to work from home and then boom, before I know it, it's freaking COVID and I'm working from home. And that's not how I wanted it to happen, but that's why they say you've got to be careful of your thoughts and your words because the universe is funny. They have a sense of humor. God has a sense of humor. And you, if you're not specific on how you want it to happen, who knows how it's going to happen? 
hopefully for your highest good. Hopefully in a way that when you look back, you might not have liked it when it was happening, but when you look back, you're like, damn, that was kind of cool. Anyway, I'm on, I'm over that. Okay, so we're moving on. So we are talking about love. So I'm actually gonna go into a bonus extended now where since we're talking about love, we're gonna get more about the love. We're gonna find out when this union might happen. Is it gonna happen in the next six months to a year sooner? Because this is more long-term. I see success. I see you're headed towards success. I've told you what's gonna happen, but what about in the next six months to a year sooner? What can you do to help the situation along? What else does spirit want you to know? What challenges? What are those mountains? Um, besides needing to understand with this person and getting this other information and stuff like that, you and your person, what else do you need to know? We might even get what are they thinking or feeling cards. I want to do those. Hopefully I'll remember to do those. I think in the all signs, I don't remember if I did remember to do those, but so do go down below, click the link that takes you to my Patreon and you'll be able to watch the bonus extended. You'll be able to get all the extra details that will help you get to the union with your twin flame with your person and if you haven't met your twin flame yet find out more um, most likely you probably have already met them but you know some of you maybe you haven't if you want a personal reading you can get it on my website the link is down below in the description box as well so is the link to the bonus extended so you can go down there i might also put it in the comment section if you if any of these decks that you see you like and you want to know where i got them if I have time, if I have affiliate link, I will put it in the description box down below as well. So check down there. Um, also, I am I'm building my YouTube up, but I also, because of social media is so finicky, I am building up like an email list and starting out a newsletter where you can get access to coupons off my readings, promotions, giveaways. I might be doing some deck giveaways. Who knows what I'll be doing? Maybe some free reading giveaways. Um, information, I'll probably put it out every week or every two weeks, depending on how much time I have, but you know, good information, maybe written readings, um, links to these readings to make sure that you're seeing them. Cause sometimes YouTube doesn't push them out to everybody. So do go sign up for my newsletter. If you have a chance, the link is on, is down below in the description box, my website. And then when you first enter my website, there should be a pop-up that asks you for your name and your email address. So if you put that in, you will now be subscribed to my email. We can keep in touch and you'll get good information of things that spirit wants you to know, particularly about your twin flame situation and maybe your soul purpose. Those are kind of the things that spirit has had me kind of focusing on lately. So let's get into the bonus extended to find out more about um, your twin flame situation and maybe your soul purpose or whatever else spirit wants you to know. Be sure to give the video a like and of course subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of these details if this resonated with you. And if this resonated with you, please also let me know down in the comment section below because I do want to know like who I'm connecting with. Because if you've come here, especially right now, um, in this time period um, with me still growing my YouTube, I feel like you're probably part of my soul tribe. So, and these people I've done readings for, I feel like they're part of my soul tribe too. So thank you guys for being there for me as much as I'm trying to be there for you. I know this twin flame journey is rough and it's really cool to meet other people who are going through it too. And especially cause then we know we're not crazy, right? <laughs> All right, so I'll see you in the bonus extended. Let's go there right now.